ladies and gentlemen, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to Fortress Craft Evolved and the Frozen Factory DLC. We're on day 25, and things are starting to get a little bit interesting. We've got this cryoplasm stuff, I think it's cryoplasm, coming at us. We have to go do some research on that, and maybe we can figure out how to deal with it. I'm sure it's not going to be... I don't know. It's not going to be easy. Nothing's going to be easy, because nothing's ever easy in this game. But first things first, we need to deal with... Something over here. Let's just remove this. Okay, something that's important to note is that these chrome machine blocks and these magnetic machine blocks are really fast to build. They actually build very, very quickly if the materials are available. So if there's chromium and if there's molybdenum, these build super, super fast. So I'm not really worried about the time required to build these. It's the materials required to build these. Now, what's going to happen when it gets to a point where I don't need them immediately but I also want to keep producing my chromium and my molybdenum. I need a place to store, a nice big place to store my bars, my molybdenum and chromium. So that's the next plan of action, is to build a mass storage area. Now it's been quite some time since I built uh, mass storage. Uh, let's get it ready to go. I think I have everything that's required. So mass storage, oh, I forgot the iron gears. Oh no, no, I can build those. I can build those down here. I think I've got more than enough. Let's. Uh, let's craft a whole bunch of those. Wow, that's way more than I intended to build. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. I, we're, I, I'll make use of them. I think I have some stored upstairs too. Whoops. Why is it not showing me anything? Hello? Cancel? Hello? What? Hold on. I, I'm sure I canceled this. There we go. Weird. <laughs> Weird little anomalous bugs. Okay, so mass storage blocks are pretty easy. They require tin plate. I might need to go get some more tin eventually. But the basic mass storage. So this insert items from a conveyor into the mass storage facility. It inserts five of the same at a time. Pre-sorting can massively increase efficiency. Right, I'm going to pre-sort them all, so that's fine. So I'm going to build two mass, two of the base basic mass storage. That'll allow me to build the, ma the mass storage one, which is the next step up, inserts 12 of the same item at a time. So much, much more efficient, right? So we're gonna build two of those. Oh no. I think I need four of these. Which means I'm gonna need more Mark I power boosters. Whoops. <laughs> so I need one more of those because this requires so the bulk mass storage, which is inserts 25 at the same time, which is pretty good. That's pretty good. So uh, you'll get to see it here in a second if you've never seen them before. So I'm going to build one of these, and then I'm going to have to go back and grab all the stuff I need for the outputs. Maybe I'll go do that really quickly, and I'll meet you back here in a second. Okay, good to go. Uh, let's build. <laughs> uh, so we're going to do the input or the output now. So we need to build the basic output. Oh, it requires servo motors and copper wires. Oh, balls. <laughs> okay, I didn't really look at that. Whoops. Whoopsie. Basic. Okay, I thought it would be the same materials that goes into the inputs and the outputs. Okay, I'll be back. You know, going up and down on that teleporter is actually making me dizzy for real. <laughs> okay, so we need two, three, no, two to build the mass storage. And then I think I need two of the mass storage, yes. <laughs> so two more. And then the mass storage output, I need one more of those, and then I need two of those to do the bulk mass, tr uh, mass storage. Perfect, so I've got a bulk mass storage input, bulk mass storage output. Now I need a mass storage controller. Oh, that requires a whole bunch of, I didn't even see this. Powers mass storage, 10 ports. Interesting, okay, so I'm gonna have to go get some more stuff. <laughs> I'll be back when I've got it all ready to go. Oh my god, I need five. Hold on. Maybe I don't need this? I don't know. Powers mass storage. Ten ports. This is new. I've never seen this before. Okay, I'll be back when I've got it all ready to go. It's like a bloody circus around here sometimes. All right, so I have enough to build this mass storage controller. I'm pretty sure this wasn't in the game the last time I did a playthrough. And I've left enough for uh, one bulk mass storage output and one bulk mass storage input. Now, I'm probably going to need more of those as time goes on. But it's a good start. Uh, okay, so we've got, stick the, this is the input, and then we've got the output, and then the controller. Let's stick, the, it's kind of a funny picture, isn't it? Kind of a funny picture. Uh, kind of looks like Total Biscuit. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put the input down here. Yeah, we'll put the input down here. I'm gonna leave lots of room. You know, I'm thinking I will put it, up a little bit further. There, that's prob. You know, I'm I'm compressing things too much. 
I, like, my base is, you know, everything's just too tight here. I, I gotta expand it out a little bit. All right, so this is the input. And if I remember correctly, I just attach a conveyor to that. So let's do that really quickly. So basically, the output for molybdenum, which is right here, I'd rather have the output for molybdenum to go into... Uh, I don't like it sitting above ground like that. I'm probably going to put it below ground. So a little bit of uh, messing around. Uh, but for today, just for example purposes, I'll do that on my own. I'll, I'll dig it in. I'll indent it on my own just because... Uh, you know, we're kind of limited for time here. I'm, I'm prob- this is probably gonna be a longer episode. I don't even know. It's okay, the last one was pretty short. So we've got our molybdenum coming down the line here. And then we're going to turn that. We're gonna turn it right here for now. We're gonna bring that down over here and we're gonna put- plug that into the input. Like so, and turn- whoops. Stupid jetpack, turn that off. Oh, and my report, everything looks good. <laughs> ah, all the buttons at once. Okay, there we go. <laughs> and we'll bring that in like so. So the input controller or the bulk mass storage input will do nothing until we actually build. Hold on, let's build some mass storage blocks. So the mass storage block, these are that's these guys. I'm gonna build 25 of them for now. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll need more of them in the end for sure. Now, I heard a rumor that you could stack these now. I don't know if that's true or not, um, but we'll do it. Uh, we'll do it level for now. So we'll just attach these like so. And I think I have to tell the controller. Oh, actually, I need to. Storing. No, it's storing the molybdenum. Storing six molybdenum. And there it goes. Yeah, just like that. So this this device here is going to take it and drop it off. So what do I need the controller for? Receiving items. So what? Hold on. What do I need this controller for? Maybe I didn't need it after all. Let's go to help. <laughs> uh, mass storage controller for powered mass storage. Oh, eventually powered mass storage. I don't have powered mass storage yet. All right. So I guess I didn't need that for this one. But So every one of these little blocks is 25? How do I tell what's in there? Total storage is nine out of 150. So every one of these mass storage uh, blocks here will store 25, I believe. Maybe less than that. I don't even remember how much each one of these. And it'll probably tell me here if I look. Uh, help. Uh, 25, I was right, 25. So each one of these will store 25. So this is half of the equation. We're gonna build, I don't know, a few of these out like so. Just, I'm, I'm gonna clean it up and make this look pretty on my own because we don't have a lot of time. And then we have our output. Now the output, we're gonna stick right here and we can tell the output what to collect if I remember correctly. So we wanna make sure the output is collecting. Number eight, uh, molybdenum, and we're gonna hit E, I believe, to set the output. So this output is going to collect any of the molybdenum that we put in here. And we're gonna attach a line to that. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach it. Do I have my jetpack on again? I thought I turned that off. Oh no, okay, I'm out of, uh, <laughs> I'm out of doodads. Hang on, we're gonna grab some more doodads. <laughs> some more transport pipes. I'm, I've been burning through transport pipes like crazy. I really need to start working on uh, minecarts. Maybe we'll do some minecarts uh, on the next episode, but yeah, not this episode. So we're going to extend that out to here, and then we're going to rotate that, and we're going to bring that down. Like I said, I'm going to indent stuff properly. I'm going to make it look nice when I have the time. So now we can just attach that to that same line. I know it seems ridiculous why we would do this. So we've got our output going here. We've got molybdenum bars going out this way. I guess I can, no, I gotta keep this one in here because I still, oh no, chromium's coming out this side. Okay, so we've got molybdenum going on the input all the way over to here to the mass storage input. And then it's gonna drop off whatever it uh, collects in here. Then it's going to pick it back up, put it through the output and bring it down here and back into our system where we're building our chromium blocks. And like I said, just in case you're unclear of why I'm doing this, there will come a point where I won't need to be using these chromed machine blocks and these magnetic machine blocks all the time. So these are gonna hit 100. And uh, this chromium bar, or sorry, the molybdenum 
the molybdenum bars, this is going to max out at 100, and then my machine's going to stop processing molybdenum, unless I have a place to store it. So now we have a backup storage, and then when I go and I collect the, the, uh, whatever they're called, the, uh, the magnetic machine blocks again, of course, it'll fill this up again from the mass storage. So it's kind of a neat way to kind of buffer your entire machines. Uh, so you've got that sort of buffering storage here. Now, I do want to double check something before I finish with this. I don't know if these are stackable. I heard a rumor that these are stackable. No. Oh, hold on, hold on. Wrong one. <laughs> so I don't know if that will work. Uh, solo storage, connect more crates. Okay, so stack 16 crates. So what I can do is I can build another input controller on top of this one, maybe? Or maybe, I don't know, I'll figure it out, but I'm pretty sure I can stack these somehow and make that work. I think if I had another pipe... The thing is, one thing that is missing right now that I'd really like is there's no turntable that works with transport pipes. In other words, it, it's too cold down here to use a regular turntable. I think, I don't know, maybe it will work, but I have a feeling it'll freeze. Let's give that a shot. I do have one. Let's just try a turntable. I'm just curious. Maybe it won't freeze. Maybe this is the only option and they realize that this is uh, the only option and that's what you can use. So let's see here. Does it say it's frozen? It doesn't say it's frozen. So maybe I can actually use a turntable here. Wouldn't that be cool if I could use a turntable? Hey, it works. Oh, so the turntables do work in the cold cold caverns. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, that's great. That actually saves a whole bunch of time and effort. That's wonderful. That's really great. So there we go. There you have the uh, mass storage, the introduction to mass storage. Now, this is going to get massive, and I'm probably going to be bringing down all of the other materials. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what my plan is yet, but I'm definitely going to be building mass storage for both molybdenum and chromium, because that's something that we're definitely going to want to keep a backlog of, without a doubt. Now, another thing that we're probably going to do, now that I know that the turntable works, is add multiple inputs and multiple outputs. Or at least multiple outputs. Multiple outputs make sense. I don't know if multiple inputs make sense, but multiple outputs. So when this thing gets full and I have a demand for molybdenum, um, we'll have multiple outputs grabbing, you know, 25 at a time and bringing it into our system so we don't have any wait or downtime. Pretty cool, hey? I actually really like the mass storage system. Yeah, I used it briefly last time, but not to good effect because I really didn't need it. And now, now I need it. For sure, now we need it. Now, another thing, you know, like I am carrying around a lot of, you know, extra stuff like, uh, you know, I've got 6.9K of biomass on me and I've got 14, 000, or 10,000 crystal deposits on me. Probably not something I need to be carrying around all the time. I use the crystal deposits for building things sometimes, but I definitely don't use the biomass for, for building things sometimes. And uh, of course, if I was to put these in regular storage hoppers, I would need a million of them. So uh, mass storage might be a good solution for that, but I don't know if I'm going to bother with that. Okay, we've got a couple unknown materials to scan or to research. So we've got the cryoplasm. Oh, cool, cool, cool. This incredibly hard organic non-Newtonian liquid has been awoken by our climate control center. We need we need specialist weaponry to deal with this. Oh, so I wonder, so I guess the lasers might not work. I don't know. I will have to try it. And then we have cryoplasm. This incredibly, so that's the same thing. Weird. Okay, did that, that opened up another research area. Oh, and I think we can actually research this. Oh, cool. So our attempt to warm up the cold caverns and make them a hospitable place to live has backfired. Oh no. We appear to have activated an unknown number of previously, previously deep frozen organic spores. These are now growing and consuming everything in their path. They're a non-Newtonian liquid, so bombs are exceptionally ineffective against them. We need to research new forms of defense immediately. Uh, so 64 experimental, uh, XL experimental, 64 advanced experimental, and 32 imbued. No problem. No problem. We can actually get that going right now. I've got a bunch of imbued on me. Let me just, uh, actually we can just uh, throw that in like so. Imbued, I've got 1.1K of imbued, look at that, and uh, everything else is ready to go. We've got the experimental and stuff. So, brand new research, cryoplasm defense and research. There we go. So that shouldn't take very long. I don't know how we're doing for time here. We might be running, we might be running long, but uh, I'm going to show you something before I go. So another thing I've done, because I'm a little peeved that these arc furnaces only use 16 resources for uh, one block of like molybdenum. So it only uses 16 molybdenum, molybdenum ore to make one bar of molybdenum. So I reactivated this thing. I got this thing going. And on top of that, I build a shaft 
all the way down to the very, very, very bottom. Uh, what is it? Depth uh, 800 and something. <laughs> 822 uh, to collect both molybdenum and chromium as kind of a secondary source of bars. So I can come up here and grab any of my personal use bars for, you know, just building odds and ends. Like uh, there's some suit upgrades that I want to get. And there's some, you know, the bulk mass storage, for example, the bulk mass storage uses, you know, a thousand over a thousand chromium bars. So I can be getting those up here and it's a little bit more or efficient to build these, but these are slow, 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 slow machines <laughs> compared to the one downstairs. So there's there's a consequence to using these and there's a consequence to using the one downstairs. Okay, perfect. Basic cryoplasm defense is almost done. We've just got the one last pod to do. Super fast. Excellent. Actually, this didn't take very long at all. Maybe, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes. Not even, actually. It was super, super fast. There we go. Collect basic cryoplasm research. Oh, look at this long range cryoplasm defense, static cryoplasm defense, mobile cryoplasm defense, and improved cryoplasm defense. Oh, uh, I hope we got some kind of defense because that it's actually moving in on the base. It's only like 70 meters away or something. Actually, let's go to our research. Man, this place, this place is hard on the eyes, man. I, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. It's so hard on the eyes with all the lasers kicking around here. All right, is there any uh, pipe coder? No, it doesn't look like, uh-oh. Does it look like we... S oh, here we go. Cryoplasm Lancer. Allows clearing of cryoplasm at very short range. Useful for keeping stray tendrils at bay. What's a tendril? <laughs> wow, what's a tendril? Sure, we'll grab that. Cryoplasm Lancer. Okay, at least we've got something. Now let's take a look at these other projects. So, compressed sulfur. So, the long range, our Lancers are going to get overwhelmed and we need to defend our base from, from further afield. Researching this will allow us to do access much larger and more destructive weaponry. Compressed sulfur, I, yeah. And this one, compressed chlorine. This one, com imbued machine block. Mobile cryoplasm defense. We need both close and long range defenses if we are going to survive. Researching this will allow us to retrofit Felker drones with electrically charged explosive devices. Hey, that's pretty cool. Um, we can get that going right away. And uh, improve cryoplasm defense with some work. We should be able to use freeze on gas to supercharge our existing defense network. This technology should also should also used. I think it's supposed to say should also be used to massively massively improve our existing resin handling system. Interesting. So uh, I guess we can research both of these. I don't know if I'll be able to use them because it says something about needing to use freeze on gas. We still don't have that uh, technology built yet. So let's. Let's, uh, let's throw, I'm gonna throw those in, ah, nine, nine, T, there we go, and we're going to do the mobile cryoplasm defense, and we're gonna go see what it takes to build this basic Lancer thing. Hopefully we can actually build it, I don't even know. I assume it's under here? No, no, I, it'll be under here, sorry, my bad. Uh, la Lancer, here we go, Lancer, and it requires polished chrome lenses. Uh, how do we build a polished chrome lens? Uh, let's go here. Polished chrome lens. I think that's actually a technology here that we need to grab. So, recipes. Pretty sure it's down here. Uh, yes, uh, lens polisher. Uses precision technology to produce an unfocused lens from any lower tier of lens. Can be chrome plated to use in laser power transmitter and the lens Chromer, mirror coats high precision unfocused lenses to provide a useful upgrade. Okay, let's go see what these are available. Oh, here we go, lens polisher. So we need overclocked crystals for that. Um, let's just do, I think it's, it, it'll probably all be under here. So, diamond, uh, okay, so lens chromer will also, okay. They both use overclock crystal. I do have some overclocked crystal. So I just, let's see here. Uh, overclocked. I think I have a bunch stored. Over these are these two. These took a long time to build when I built them. So I kind of figured that I was going to need them at some point. And yes, of course we do. So lens polisher. So these are two totally different things: lens chromer and lens polisher. So craft, craft, and then, and then what? <laughs> and, and then what? How do I? Uh, okay. So do I just take any lens and then I yeah, I think these might be actually machines. So let's let's throw these down. I'm just going to throw them down on the side of this uh, power source here. So let's just put them on my bar. Sure. So 
It's funny, it looks like they it looks like a little guy with teeth, doesn't it? Alright, so lens polisher. Uh, we'll stick that here. The lens chromer, we'll stick that here. So they are actually little machines. Hey, that's pretty cool. So we need hoppers. Let's throw some hoppers down. Uh, uh hold on. Yeah, we'll do it like that. Alright, so this machine. It needs, oh, so it looks for any other, can I use organics? I wonder if I can use organics in this, probably not. Cause organics, I, I mean, I have an abundance of organic material to work with, so, so let's see here. Oh yeah, there it goes. It's polishing, it's polishing the uh, lens. So if we do remove only here and we take this and we put that in between, I assume it's gonna take that unfocused polished lens. So it's gonna build an unfocused polished lens Wow, 282 seconds. Wow, it takes a long time to build. So let's let's do a handful of these. Okay, yeah, we're gonna do 21 of these, and then it's going to take the unfocused lens. It's gonna deposit it in here, and then it's gonna. This is gonna take the unfocused lens and turn it into. Oh, it requires chromium bars. You know what? We're gonna have to build this thing downstairs. Four chromium bars. So yeah, I'm gonna need like 60 chromium in here. All right, fine, <laughs> fine, whatever. I do have some chromium on here. I'm I'm just. I'm gonna build these up here for now. Who knows, I might have to automate these. I have no idea. Yes, everything looks fine. But I guess I'll be back in a minute when this is done, you know, a couple of these, I guess. And in the meantime, it looks like our mobile cryoplasm defense is just about done. I have a feeling I'm not gonna have the materials to be able to build these. Let's just see here, collect research. And let's get started on, I mean, we might as well do, ooh, improve cryoplasm defense. That's oh, just more. You know what? Um, yeah, okay. Sure, let's do that. 64 of imbued. I should have the materials to pull that off. Everything's using imbued now. Crazy. Okay, let's go take a look and see what we need to build that. I wonder if it's a recipe now. I don't know. Man, my eyes are never going to recover. Ooh, cryo bomb assembler. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, auto craft cryo bombs. All right, we'll grab that. Falcor bomber. <gasps> Automatically delivers cryo bombs to distant cryoplasm. Yes! <laughs> I'm probably not gonna be able to build any of this. All right, let's take a look. Um, let's just type in cryoplasm. That should be easier. It's probably all under here. Oh no, it's not. Okay. Cryo bomb assembler. Polished chrome lenses. I'm gonna have to automate these downstairs. Yep, for sure. And the cryo chilled missile assembler is. Uh, Takes imbued missiles and adds a massive slowing effect. I don't think that's necessary. I, I mean, I don't think that's going to be useful. I don't know. I have no idea. Cryoplasm Lancer, we got that. And what was the other one? Oh, the Falcor. Hold on. There's a new Falcor bomber. Whoops. And I assume I need those bombs for the Falcor bomber. Whoops. Spelled it wrong. There we go. Fel bomber Falcor. There we go. Uh, polished chrome lenses and a Felcor Mark One. So I've got to use for all my Felcors that are just lying around. That's kind of cool, but I need more of those polished chrome lenses. I might have to build multiples of these lens chromers and such because it's it takes 200, well, like 300 seconds. So what is that? That's like, I don't know, it's many minutes. Uh, and then many minutes, to, uh, sorry, to build the unfocused and then many minutes to build the focused to get one polished chrome lens. So I might have to build multiples of these lens polishers and I'm gonna have to do it downstairs cause that just makes sense. But uh, in the meantime, I'm going to just wait until we've got at least one of these so that we can go test a Lancer. Okay, after a mere 30 minutes, we have three polished chrome lenses. Let's go use these. We're gonna build one Lancer. Cause the Lancer I think is just a direct fire weapon. I, I have no idea. I have no idea. I can't wait to actually give it a shot. And then we're gonna do the the bomber Felcor, one of those, and then we're going to build the bomb thing. Uh, what is it? It's the, yes, the Crow Bomb Assembler. I don't know if I'm going to be able to build bombs right now. Let's just throw this thing down uh, just to see what's involved here in assembling. I, I doubt that we're going to have everything necessary. So there's the bomber Felcor. That's pretty cool. The Crow Bomb Assembler. So let's throw that down. Yeah, no, no valid hoppers. Needs 1,500 power per second. Are you kidding? <laughs> we really need to get that geothermal up, man. We really, really, really need to get that up. All right, let's throw down a hopper, and then hopefully it'll tell us what it needs. Imbued machine block and compressed sulfur. Yep, yep. So 
Yeah, the imbued isn't a problem, although I'm starting to get the feeling that we're going to need a lot of imbued blocks. Like, a lot. <laughs> All right, so I guess we'll just leave this for now because, uh, yeah, I, I think we need that particle filter and all that to build uh, the compressed sulfur and all that other stuff. So let's go back downstairs. Poof. Ow. 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 <laughs> you know, after playing this game for as much as I have, I don't think my eyes are ever going to recover. Like, ever. Uh, okay, so let's, we've got a Lancer. We do have a Lancer, pretty sure. Uh, where'd I put it? There it is. We've got a Cryoplasm Lancer. Let's throw that in the bar. We're going to get some power. Actually, you know what? Let's throw it down. I'm, I'm just curious. Let's throw it down. Uh, let's just throw it down here. So, crap. Use a Freezon Injector to supercharge this Lancer. What the heck is a Freezon Injector? So I can't just use power? Ugh, are you serious? Uh, what's a freeze on injector? Hold on, let's throw it here. So it's got power. So it looks like scan size, max. Looks like it's working, but it may not work properly until we get a whatever the freeze on injector is. I'm gonna bring this out Anyway, whoops, wrong one. I'm sorry it's so bright, guys. It's honestly, it's super bright for me, too. I'm going to bring a pick laser out this way. We're going to cut through here. Perfect. And we're going to go all the way down to where this uh, cryoplasm is. And we're going to stick this thing down. I, I don't think it's going to work because I, I think we need something else. We need something else to make this thing work. Uh, oh, oh, that's as far as the power goes. Okay, so let's do another power going this way. That should work. Okay, and then we'll go through here. <laughs> ah, I love it. Ah, balls. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I have enough lasers to do this properly, but we'll see here. We'll see. So, uh, there's the cryoplasm. It's grown since the last time we looked at it, which is which is great. That's just freaking fantastic. <laughs> uh, okay, let's cut in here, and hopefully I, I can get fairly close to this thing without dying. I'm hoping. And we're going to throw down just a power block, and we're going to stick that Lancer right here. Okay, powering up. There it goes. Ah! It's working! Okay, so it works. Uh, it, it probably works better if we have a Freezon Injector. So do I get any materials for that, or does it just... Okay, so it, it just works. It just kills the Cryoplasm, I think. Zappity zappity! Oh, cool! Okay, so that is uh, part of the solution here. We found a way to maybe slow it down a little bit. So that's good. Um, we'll need multiples of these. And these are short range, apparently. I don't know what the range is on these. But, uh, you know, if I build a couple of these out here, it'll kind of slow it down coming from that direction anyway, towards the base. So good! Okay, so we did something! Yay! We did something! We had the materials to do something! Ha 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 ha! Fantastic! I hope the cryoplasm doesn't move faster than that thing works. But it looks like it's actually going at a pretty decent rate. Pretty okay with that. We're gonna need more power. More power. How much power? Hold on, hold on, hold on. One other thing. Let me just check. How much power does this thing actually use? Uh, power... Hold on, help. Because it doesn't actually say the power per second. Uh, why does it say... How come it doesn't say the power per second? Uh, it looks like it uses a lot, though. A lot. Power... Yeah, it, yeah it's diff It's burning through about 500 power per second. Something like that. It's, it's pretty heavy, anyway. Maybe not quite 500, but it's using a lot. And to be honest with you, I'm sort of at the limit of the amount of power I can bring down here. I can bring down a little bit more, but it's, it's getting to a point where it's... Uh, I'm going to start running low here, and of course that's going to slow down the blast furnace, and once the blast furnace slows down, it's going to slow down the rate at which we're getting the magnetic and chrome blocks. It's just all around bad. All right, back in one second. Uh, something interesting to note here. So this is the mass storage, and I've noticed that there is a stack height button, so we can hit E to increase the stack height. 
So we can make it so this thing will actually stack higher without having to add more blocks on top. It'll just automatically do it. So we can go stack height to store 800, stack height 3 to store 1200, etc, etc, etc. Hey, that's pretty cool. Right on. So we can just build this out and then automatically set it to st higher stack height. Very neat. All right, the improved crowd plasm defense is done. Uh, although I probably won't be able to use it, but you know, <laughs> getting the research done is, is good. Yeah, so we can't do that. Uh, let's try long range. Yeah, so now we're getting to a point where we're pretty much stuck for all research. I don't think there's anything we can do now until we get uh, that compressed gas thing going. So, yes, let's go take a look at the improved defense and see what's available. Ah, my eyes. I'm going to need eye surgery. Totally after this. Totally, totally going to need eye. Oh, motorized compare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of stuff here that I should have got or should have picked up a long time. Oh, freeze on injector. Attached to a storage hopper to inject compressed freeze on into compatible machines yeah we can't make freeze on yet but i'm gonna grab that anyway we've got the points and that's it let's go see if there's another defense maybe that's what it is that's a freeze on injector that's what that to improve so that's the improvement to the cryoplasm lancer is a freeze on injector i'm gonna build one more i'm gonna build a couple more of these lancers and let's take a look at that freeze on injector freeze on injector Oh, all I need is magne magnetic machine blocks, just one, and and four cryoplasm lancers to make one freeze-on injector. But we don't have freeze-on yet, so I don't think I should build that quite yet. All right, let's go back downstairs. Okay, so the cryoplasm lancer has actually pushed that back a, a fair amount. I mean, not super far, but a fair amount. And it's kind of maxed out, so now it's not going to use any power because, of course, until the, uh, until the cryoplasm moves forward again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build... A couple of these. Hopefully, how close can I get to this thing before it eats me? <laughs> I'm sure there's an achievement, so I, I do want to get the achievement for getting eaten by the cryoplasm. But do I want to do it yet? Here, I'm powering it up. <laughs> uh, so let's throw down another one of those lancers. Uh, where are they? I could put a couple down here. But what's nice about this is once they kind of push it back, then then we're not using any more power until it moves forward again. So we could just line this whole area with them and kind of stop it. Now keep in mind, stop it from moving forward any further than it is right now. Now keep in mind, there should be four of these cryoplasm things in the universe or in the world right now. So this is just one of them. This just happened to be a really close one and I wanted to kind of control its, its push forward. So yeah, I'm not quite done building all of the stuff I need to build the geothermal. It's gonna take, you know, I'll have it done by next episode, but I just took a look behind the cryoplasm. Look at it all. Look at all this. Holy crap. So how far does this go? Look at all of this. This is madness, man. So I wonder what's at the end of the rainbow. <laughs> Is it going to be a leprechaun or a pot of gold? I don't think so. So what happens when we get right to the end of this thing? Okay, so I can't quite see the very end of this. What if I can go around and see some more on the other side? No, this is crazy. Look at how far this goes. Um, This is definitely going to take some work. And keep in mind, there's four of these in the universe. Or in this, in the, uh, in the cold caverns in the universe. I keep saying in the universe. There's four of these in the cold caverns. Um, and I, each one of them, I assume, has to be destroyed, but I, I'm sure there's something at the core of this that needs to be killed that's uh, pretty awesome, I'm sure. So before I go, I figured, uh, let's kill ourselves, just for fun. Let's see how the cryoplasm kills us, or let's see what kind of achievement we get for standing on the cryoplasm. If we get one, I'm sure we do. All right, let's, uh, let's go over here, and, uh, ah, oh, 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 it just, it just freezes you. That's it, that's all it does. It just freezes you. Wow, it's, I'm getting hypothermia even with the uh, special suit. Oh, it's not actually killing me. All right, so hold on, let's let's put our jetpack on and, oh, I can't use my jetpack right now, interesting. So I wonder if they're the, uh, maybe, I, maybe it doesn't kill you right away. Maybe it takes a minute. So I, I need to understand how, to, how this thing kills me so that I know not to do it in the future. So it's just giving me hypothermia. How long will it take to kill me with hypothermia? Uh, well, mm, might take a, a minute actually because we do have quite a bit of power. Ah, oh, that's a shame. I thought it would be more abrupt than that. <laughs> I'm right in there, right on, right like, just hanging out with the cryoplasm. 
Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm not gonna wait. I'm not gonna wait. I'm, I'm gonna call it, guys. I hope you're enjoying the series. I'm still loving this game. It's it's getting more interesting, but it is definitely getting more time-consuming. Like, just to build the geothermal generator and stuff, it's taken a long time, you know? And then after the geothermal jet, I don't even know if we're gonna be able to run the geothermal generator without the particle filtration system, which is gonna require just as much, if not more, materials to build. So, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do the best I can. We're gonna try and pull off an, an episode a week, and, uh, and yeah, we'll see you next week. All right, take care, guys. Bye, bye, bye.